Face is set, face is set, face is looking mighty set. Mm, mm, mm. I've never met anyone quite like her before. Hey everybody, welcome back to Andy Night. It's your girl, Andy. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, I'm gonna be playing in the Juvia's Place coffee shop palette. I know, I know, I'm late, but I got it as a gift and I really wanted to make sure I did a video, but I had to plan that stuff out. Like I'm a planner when it comes to my content, so everything's planned out in advance. Finally got a chance to use it and I can't wait to use it some more because it has literally everything I need to create all the looks that I've been feeling about lately. So if you guys would like to see how I got this look, because I'm cute, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Make sure you're first and foremost subscribed to the channel. Your girl's on the way to a thousand subscribers. We just hit 500, so thank you for supporting me. I love y'all. And like this video and keep watching. Okay, guys, so my brows are already done as usual, and I'm feeling like going in for like a really brown look today. Do not know why, but if you haven't noticed, I've been really feeling brown. Like, even my nails have been brown for like months. <laughs> so, my darling, my love, my sugar honey, got me the coffee shop palette by Jimmy's Place for Valentine's Day. Thank you, Alame. So, I figured if we doing brown, we doing brown, you know what I'm saying? So first I'm going to prep my eyes, Elf Camel Concealer in the shade Tan Latte, and blend that out. I'm gonna take this fluffy Be A Small brush and I think, I'm trying to decide between these two browns, but I think I wanna go on with this darkest one first. No, I think I'm gonna go in this one first. This one, and if I feel like I need to go darker, then I'll go into that one. But I'm gonna take this dark brown shade and put that all over my lip space. All right, next I'm gonna go with this shade at the bottom and kind of use that to blend out the edges of the first shade I just put on. Last, I'm gonna take this shade here at the top and do a final blending. I'm using that same brush. I forgot to tell you, it's a tapered crease brush from Sephora. So I'm gonna take this shade and just final blend. We used three shades today. Like, can we say quick or what? <laughs> I'm gonna go back into that first shade and just kind of re blend out that first dark shade because I want to make sure it's prominent and it's blended and it looks the way I need it to look. You know what I'm saying? Eyes are done for now. We're going to move on to this face and then come back and do my liner and lashes as I usually do. I don't know. I don't like doing my makeup with my lashes on. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't like that. <laughs> but I'm gonna take the Milk um, Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer and prime my face. If anybody's tried the setting spray, let me know, cause I wanted to get it. Like, I wanna get it real bad, real bad. I'm gonna take the poor, um, oh Jesus, the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. and I'm gonna put that around my eyes and around my mouth where my makeup tends to move the most, just for a little extra stickiness and hydration. I'm not even taking that much, like, that's it. Even that was a little too much. I don't feel like powdering my face. Actually, I probably should, and I? I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is in the shade Medium Deep 30. And I'm gonna powder um, around my mouth and my nose, kind of where I put the e.l.f. primer, just not under my eyes. I 
I do have a lot of errands to run today, so the powder just won't help with that. The foundation we're using today is the Oliva Goodie, the NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear. This is in the shade Macau. I haven't used this in a while, but it's running out, so hopefully I don't have to mix it with nothing, but foundation today. I'm going to blend that out with my Morphe E63 brush. I'm going to spray the Pore Eclipse um, Super Setter by Benefit. I'm going to re-blend my face out with that brush. Okay, I'm going to take my Sonia Kashik sponge. It's damp. I'm just going to pat that in. For concealer, I'm going in with the Dior Backstage Concealer in the shade 5W. Y'all know how much I love this concealer. Like, the best concealer on the planet. I don't even understand. But I could literally buy like 50 of these and be okay. I'm gonna blend that out with my BH Cosmetics brush. We're going in with two concealers to highlight. I don't know why I'm loving this combination, but like, it's been banging. So I'm taking the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer in Caramel Corn and the Lancome Concealer in 360, this neutral. These two together give me like the brightest under eye. The brightest under eye and the smoothest, smoothest under eye. Like I don't, the face just be elevated, okay? So we're gonna go in with this first and then put this just in the little inner corner. Just just in the inner corner to brighten. You know what I'm saying? Just right here. And we're gonna let this sit. Honestly, I just put way too much. <laughs> that was not what I was supposed to do. I'm gonna let that sit because when I let my concealers sit, they tend to be a little bit more full coverage and easier to blend out. When you let your when your concealer is too wet and it blends out, sometimes you be seeing those people with concealer all the way down here, all the way up here. You don't need none of that. You just don't need that because then you will end up look like a raccoon and you have no coverage. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would we do that? I'm gonna contour. I just forgot the word. Contour with my Juvia's Place Foundation Stick in the shade Katsina. Um, actually, I kind of want to do a new face, um, a full face of Juvia's Place because I feel like my other look, the lighting was a little off, a whole bunch of things. I want to get like another powder, a lighter powder and stuff, but I feel like I love Juvia's Place and I feel like I'm going to do another full face of Juvia's Place. So if you would like to see that, let me know. Let me know from you. For blush today, I'm going in with the Rare Beauty blush. This is in the shade Lucky. It's the bright, hot pink one. I don't know. I just feel like brown and pink just be brown to me. I like gooey, gooey, yummy this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Am I making sense? Anybody else? No? Just me? I'm weird? Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to blend this out with my angled Japanese brush. Um... It is a little bit in the end of my concealer because I definitely put way too much concealer on. My hair is like all up in my face today. This is not... But anyway. I'm 
I add a little bit to my nose, just the excess. No Rudolph, we just need a little bit of like. <laughs> I'm gonna take my sponge and kind of just blend my face a bit before I go in and blend this concealer, which should be nice and tacky right now. I am gonna use, where's my brush? <laughs> I'm gonna use that same concealer brush to blend out my concealer. I'm gonna start on the ends and work my way in just by patting, patting, patting. All right, now that I'm all blended, all blended, I'm gonna set with my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder and Banana Bread and my little triangle powder puff from Amazon. Y'all know how I feel about this powder. It is what it is. You want a base that's smooth? Huda got you, okay? <laughs> Face is set, face is set, face is looking mighty set. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the one size turn up the base powder in 4G. It's just a great powder. I'm using my fluffy Japanese brush. And we're just gonna pat that on into the skin. You know what I'm saying? I keep saying, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why. To bake, I'm gonna use the one size powder and translucent. I'm gonna bake all the areas I usually bake in my brows because they're a little bit shiny and we don't need that. <laughs> I am taking pictures today, so like. I'm going to bronze with the Coco Naughty Bronzer from Fenty and my bigger angled Japanese brush. And we're just going to hit the cheek, hit the cheekbones, you know? Y'all, I'm really goofy today. It's been <laughs> Ignore me. I'm gonna use uh, Oliver Shadow Brush from Sephora to do my nose. Y'all notice I didn't contour my nose with cream contour. I kind of really haven't been doing that. Um, so it's been working. All right, I'm gonna put my lashes and liner on and then come back and finish my face. Lashes are on. I used, I used the V Lux Real Mink Lashes and I think these were in my style Pale Blush. Empty container, Pale Blush, V Lux. Um, hair store lashes, what, they're like what, $5.99? Flawless, okay. Um, I need blush. And I guess I didn't bring out any blush. Give me a second. Mm. All right, the blush palette I'm gonna use is the Juvia's Place Blush Duos. This is volume four. I'm gonna take the darker one and this BH Cosmetics cheek brush, and I'm just gonna apply that to the cheeks. Ooh, I use a lot. Okay, don't be like me. <laughs> um, I am gonna take the lighter one, and I'm just gonna in the top towards where my face is setting a little bit on the nose just a tad <laughs> now i'm gonna blend up the powder under my eyes using my airbrush flawless powder in the shade two this is the charlotte tilbury powder love this stuff and i'm taking my Too faced powder brush I'm 
All right, now that I've blended that out, I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just kind of pat over my face. This is kind of helps with the blending, making sure everything's like pushed in there. I know a lot of people don't do this, but I don't know. I notice a difference in my makeup when I don't, so. I'm gonna spray my face with this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Spray. Melt all this crap. Ooh, I like. I wanted to do my lower lash line. So we're gonna go back into the coffee palette. And we're gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna take this dark shade and this shade, the last two we used, and I'm gonna use those to smoke out my lower lash line. All right, now I'm gonna spray my face. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury spray. Whew. I'm gonna take my concealer brush and just pat that one in, especially on my nose, cause my nose was a little dry and I think I just I went too matte with my primers on accident. But. I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna line them with my MAC chestnut pencil. Like, I feel like I do this every single time. Like, I'm also gonna line my lower lash line with my NYX pencil. This is in the shade black. Ooh, my eyes watering. Ooh, ooh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Um, I'm gonna try a new matte lipstick. I have got this one from Morphe. This is a liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Fatty with a PH, okay? And I can get the day one thing open. Y'all know I had the oh, I ripped it. I had the worst time getting packages open. All right, it's pretty. All right, we're about to use this. Oh, my battery's dying. Okay, we're going to replace my battery first. How dare you die when I'm almost done? Bro. Okay, now we back in business because why was my camera trying to play me? And I'm going to take this to the center of my lips. Ooh. Someone commented on my one of my videos and was like, why do you do that with your lips? And I'm like, I'm blending in the product. Like, I'm also trying to fill it without having to get it over my hands. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be on my lips. So, is it comfortable? Can I move my lips? Is it blending still? Is it still sticky? You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta... And you know, I'm up. All right, we're gonna use my Ruby Kisses Hydrating Lip Oil to tap that off. Mm. All right, that's pretty. All right, I need highlighter. I'm gonna take my Rare Beauty highlighter. This is in the shade Flaunt. Love this stuff, love it so much. So much. And I need a pencil brush. Is this the one I'm using? I think this All right, I'm gonna take this pencil brush from Morphe. This is the M321 brush, and I'm just gonna make a little exclamation point. Oops, I went a little awry on that. I'm gonna lose. Um, I don't feel like putting highlight on my cheeks today, so we're just gonna let that be that. And I'm gonna pat that in with my foundation brush. Um, I feel like my inner corner is missing something, so we're gonna go in with this lighter shade um, from the Coffee Shop palette, and if I can, I'm taking this um, be a small pencil brush, and I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner. I just feel like my eyes need to be brightened up a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna spray my face one more time with the Charlotte Tilbury spray. Mm. 
I'm gonna let that air dry. <laughs> and I'm gonna go put my clothes on and then be right back. You <laughs> All right, everybody, this is the completed look. I'm obsessed because, I mean, I look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually about to go get my nails done. I feel like every time I record, I'm about to go get my nails done. <laughs> but I'm about to go get my nails done. Shout out to Delena. Um, if you guys like this video, um, first and foremost, leave me a like. And subscribe to the channel. I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We just hit 500, and I couldn't be more thankful and grateful for the support that you guys have been showing me. So, um, I'm not entirely sure if this video is going to be up before my giveaway ends. So if it is not over, I'm going to link it in the corner so you guys can get the rules to my giveaway for my birthday because I'm a baby girl. It's about to have the first anniversary of her 30th. <laughs> um, but thank you guys again for all the support that you guys have shown me um, over the years. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!